Hi kids, SlackerCat here. Uh, gonna give a quick try here to Popeye for the NES. Uh, it's a, uh, kind of a, uh, oh, arcade-style game from the time, and a lot of really cool arcade-style games are on the original NES. I remember I used to bother my, uh, brother's friend all the time to see if I could borrow this game. I don't know why I was so fascinated with it as a child, because it's not a particularly good game. Uh, the spinach acts sort of like a power pellet, and then after you grab it, um, you know, you can just knock out Bluto in one hit, rather than him knocking you out in one hit like he normally does. Uh, the purpose of this stage, obviously, uh, the hearts float down that olive oil throws out, and you just, you know, have to catch the hearts as they come. But, uh, Bluto is, uh, hell-bent and determined to keep you from grabbing them. And, uh, you know, the, the cartoon aspect of this is actually really good-looking, I think. Uh, if the hearts reach the ocean down there, uh, they start to sink, and if you don't get them before they disappear, then you've lost them forever. Uh, as well, Bluto has the interesting ability to reach between platforms here and uh, try to take care of you in that way. Uh, it starts off pretty easy, I think, here. Um, on uh, when you well, like most arcade-style platformers, uh, they kind of start out pretty slow moving. So hopefully I remember enough about this to kind of get through one. Let's see, I think this one is another just catch the things. Yeah. Oh, and Bluto starts actually tossing beer bottles at you now, rather than just being the passive wander around sort of guy. Yeah, this one he's able to do the hop down thing. Which, oh, that's right, that platform's kind of a trap. Yeah, because he can use it too. So now instead of capturing hearts, we're capturing notes from olive oil, and yet again, if they fall into the ground, they sink, and you know, everything goes wrong, and everybody cries, and then there's the baby- what was the baby's- sweet pea? I think it was sweet pea. Ah, uh, the things that you kind of sort of remember about your childhood. Uh, as well, this is one of those games where you're allowed to wander left to right, pretty much at your will. So, you can do the, uh, where it says through, you can kind of circle about. Okay, so this is, like most of the arcade-style games on the NES, you get three rounds at cycle. Uh, this is your final and third round here, and you have to capture the helps as they fall. Ah! Wow, okay. And he gets a little bit, uh, angry at this point as well. You have that vulture flying around that wants to kill you. Uh, once you've built up enough help, you, uh, form a bridge that you have to climb up in order to go save olive oil. As well, uh, collecting the spinach for it does freeze the help, but it takes a while for it all to come back. Oh man, Bluto, you are uh, speeding up on your chase to kill me. And the fact that you can hop between levels really worries me. Uh, you know, I guess maybe if I do make it through this, I'll see if I can make it till I die. Oh, that's not actually climbable. Oh, I forgot about that, man. Okay. So... Yeah, so far, so good. You know, n not a terrible game. I remember... Ooh. This being more interesting. Oh, good. It saves your progress as you go through and replenishes your spinach. I don't think the spinach ever comes back after you initially grab it. And I don't understand why Bluto's able to walk over those little missing gaps. I, I, I guess it has to do with the fact that he's a larger gentleman. Maybe he just kind of fills in the... Oh, we are fucked. We're not. Yeah, go, go fly away, Mr. Pterodactyl. I 
kind of get the feeling that that's a uh, reference to the old Joust games. Beware the pterodactyl. And we made the ladder, so I guess that means we go and save olive oil. And then it all starts over again. But this time with the more sped up and uh, more dangerous... Ooh. Oh, there's an old lady throwing s skulls at you? Was the old lady in the original cartoon at all? I don't even know. Oh, I forgot it gets more difficult on the uh, second round. That's interesting. Um, I do believe as well you can trap Pluto by... Um, if you hop up the top right side and hit the punching bag... Let's see... Yeah, but he does have to be standing under that for that to work. But that is a thing you can do to uh, kill Bluto. But he does pretty much instantly respawn once you have killed him, so it's more of a way to get him out of your way. Um, and even then, it, it's really precise timing, rather than the spinach, which just kind of does. It's so weird that they uh, make the same sound effect as uh, the one in Mario, where pretty much I guess every hopping thing in the Ar Nintendo Arcade era made that sound blue doop blue doop blue doop noise, because it was also in the uh, Donkey Kong Jr. game, from what I remember. Alright, back to collecting notes. I don't even understand why Sweet Pea's up there, unless there's, like, something about this that makes it... Oh. No, no, Oh, well, That didn't go well at all. Okay, so note to self. Oh. You're a dick. Um, I guess that is game. <laughs> Alright, well, uh, that was Popeye for the NES, and let's see how that came out. Later.